What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We gotta go over baby Dogecoin today. Look, we are going on an uptrend right now. We're doing very good in baby Doge. So we're gonna be going over some fundamentals and some good stuff that we got going on technically with baby Doge. So anyways, hit the like button and subscribe. Really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, if you want these automated trading indicators, definitely go ahead and check out the Vital Algo link in the description and use the discount code Marcellus for 25% off. And also, if you want to help support the channel, definitely go ahead and send some donations to the Cash App or PayPal donation link in the description. It'll definitely be very appreciated. Now, let's go over Baby Doge. So as you can see, the 24-hour market control is in control by the bulls by 60%. So we finally got out of that bearish territory. Now, I don't know if this is just a bull trap. You know, I don't know at all. Anything could happen. It's like right now, anything could happen. As you can see, even back here, we broke out of this downtrend very briefly. And then we went back into a downtrend. So that right there was a bull trap. So this right here quite possibly could be. But one thing that I'm seeing here is that we are slowly but surely inching down to the bottom of this downtrend line, like slowly but surely. Maybe 1260 is the lowest right now for baby Dogecoin at the moment. I don't know because like the overall crypto market is starting to do some recovery. Like we got Bitcoin doing some recovery at 50.2K. We got Ethereum doing recovery at 4,100. Finance coin doing good. So I don't know. This may be a recovery period or it could be a bull trap. So I've been watching Bitcoin very, very briefly because as you can see like everything really does follow bitcoin like let's be completely honest everything's following bitcoin and bitcoin is following the overall market from the politics to all the way over to the stock market you know the overall financial market bitcoin is following that to a t now we've seen like we've seen growth like this in the past previously so this could be a bull trap but I'm not really worried about it. As you all know, I'm long-term with Baby Doge, and I hope you all are too. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. But me personally, I'm long-term with Baby Doge. So even though we are going up right now, I really don't care. Actually, I bought some Baby Doge this morning. So I bought it with my rewards from the crypt the rewards tokens I hold. I hold so many different rewards tokens. And every time I get paid in rewards, I take that and I put it straight into Baby Doge. So... Like I, I just now showed you all for solid ETH. I take all of my Binance Pact Ethereum rewards, put it in Baby Doge. My um, Ada Cash, I take all those uh, Binance Pact Cardano rewards and put it in the Baby Doge. And now I'm about to start investing in the Soul Cash, if you don't know about that. And I'm going to be putting those Solana rewards into Baby Doge. Uh, Everdot, I put those Polkadot rewards into Baby Doge. Uh, there's a lot of other ones I'm invested in. Um, I got to mention this one, Evertron. I take those Tron rewards and then put it into Baby Doge, those Binance Pay Trons. So I'm getting a lot of different rewards tokens. Oh, yeah, and there's also one called Zeebster, X-E-E-B-E-R or B-E-S-T-E-R, something like that. You can go on um, here and you can find it. Let me just actually go over there really quick and show you all. So all you have to do is type in Zeeb, and this actually pays you in BUSD. So it pays you in BUSD, and you get paid in that stable coin. So the Binance Pack, the one, the, the BEP21. So that's definitely another good one if you want these rewards tokens. There's a lot of good ones out there. So I'm going to be doing more videos on that. But let's get back to Baby Doge. Just letting you know my plan. I'm buying the dips every single day with Baby Doge just in rewards from all these rewards tokens. I think I've gotten like $500 just in rewards over like the past month. So eventually this is going to be giving me so much passive income that it's, it's pretty much like financial freedom like there, right there. Like it's just true passive income working for you. Like that's how true financial freedom is going to be built in the crypto space through these rewards tokens. And Baby Doge is a product of that. Baby Doge is literally a part of the rewards ecosystem and the reflections. Yes, Baby Doge gives you reflections back inside of Baby Doge, unlike a lot of the rewards tokens that gives you finance pegged like Cardano or Ethereum or stuff like that. But still, the rewards in Baby Doge is still worth it. Even if you want to take your rewards and sell them off, and you can do that. You can take and sell off a little bit of your rewards and then you'll benefit from that in the long term. Well, not in the long term because, you know, your rewards won't be going up. But in the short term, you will benefit from it if, if you want to use that as like your retirement money. You know, you have like 100K in Baby Doge and you just watch Baby Doge go up and down. And then as it does that, you're going to be getting all those reflections like 100K in Baby Doge with a good amount of volume. That could give you about $1,000, possibly even 1500 every single day. Like I don't know anything like that could happen with baby doge so there's a lot of potential here now 
I did want to go over a few other things. I do want to mention that the 1260 support could come a little bit sooner if we have more FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt inside the crypto market. I know I've been saying this a lot, but I'm saying it because it's true. I've seen this so many times. I've been in crypto for a while now. Literally, we every, if we get a flash crash, we are almost bound to get a second crash. And if we get a second crash, we're almost bound to get a third crash. Now, it usually stops at the third crash, and that's when we start to slowly build back up to our previous levels. That's when we start to consolidate and you know, slowly build back up to those previous levels. But who knows? This could be a this could be the second crash right here that we already faced. So after after we were all the way up here with Baby Doge, right? You gotta think Bitcoin is really what we're following, not Baby Doge. But this definitely looks like consolidation here. Like we had so much support way back here. Now this is the four hour chart. We had so much support way back here at 1260. And that was previously back in about October 12. So we may still have the same amount of support here. So we could still have a lot of growth with Baby Doge in the future. We just got to keep pushing with it, you know. But um, I got some more stuff that I want to go over. So let's go over that with Baby Doge. So over here, you can see the holders. So now we are at 1,035,866 holders. So that's a lot of holders right there. Our holders are growing literally day by day by day. Every single day, we're getting so many different people buying into Baby Doge. So that's another big thing that's going to help us. And the whole AMA thing, like I went over the whole AMA yesterday. So if you don't know about the AMA, definitely definitely check out my video that I did yesterday. I went over the whole thing in full and the plans that Baby Doge has for the future. So that's going to help us out a lot as well. So definitely watch that video. Make sure you educate yourself on everything that was spoken about in the AMA. There was over 40 questions, about 44 questions, and they were all answered. And they're all answered with good answers too. So definitely check that out. It'll be very good for you if you're really in on Baby Doge for the long term. Now, I do want to mention a few other things here. So look at our Paul Map 2021. If you watched the video yesterday or if you were attending the AMA, you will know exactly the plans for the Paul Map 2021. I'll kind of reiterate it a little bit today also. So we already did the ball track at the Ethereum bridge. They actually said that the NFT collection is actually in the process of being audited and they're in the process of trying to put out the NFTs pretty much. And the Baby Doge wallet, they pretty much said the Baby Doge wallet the virtual and physical Baby Doge debit cards and the Baby Doge exchange are all going to come out at the same time. They're going to all launch progressively at the same time. So that's definitely going to be really big. And I think they're actually going to wait until the crypto market starts to go back on a bull run. And that's actually what I suggested. I like that's definitely the best option. The best option for a Baby Doge is to only put out all those three things whenever we start going back on a bull run, which is January, February. That's probably when we're going to see more gains inside of crypto inside January or February. So definitely wait for that. Remember, March and April are also big months for crypto as well. So the whole first part of next year is going to be very good for crypto. And then just like just like this year, like during like the middle to mid end of the year, we started to go down in crypto and now towards the end of the year, we're also starting to go down. So it's kind of a cycle. It's a constant cycle happening inside of crypto. But anyways, Baby Doge Arcade coming out as well. And then the Baby Doge NFT Marketplace. So let's move on, though. Now, this price right here, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 or 5, whatever you want, you want to say, or even 7. I want to mention something about this because during the AMA, the the actual developers of baby doge they said something and they said something very important they said they don't know whether or not they're going to slow down the manual burns you know how every single month we do a birthday burn three quadrillion five quadrillion they said they might end up slowing it down as we get bigger and bigger and bigger and if that happens it's gonna take us even longer to reach our goal of zero 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 one so hopefully they don't slow down those manual burns. But if they do slow down the manual burns, you're definitely going to see a slowdown in the price rise as well. So hopefully they don't. We still get our automatic burns. So we're still doing good there. As we get more volume, we're still getting more burns. So all good there. But yeah, just definitely watch out for that. So anyways, moving on to the next thing. $30,000 was burned today of Baby Doge which comes out to be 21 trillion baby doge coins and about 1370 new holders so shout out to ultra 243 for posting this up and shout out to baby doge informer on twitter for posting this as well so we got a lot of good stuff going on for baby doge so 
this is also good like we're doing automatic burns so not we don't really need the manual burns all the time but it definitely helps out a lot and think about it what if we did 21 trillion every single day like today so if we did 21.4 trillion or 0 0.04 trillion and then we multiplied that for by a whole month that's 631 trillion coins burned per month 631 trillion is almost one quadrillion of automatic burns and our volume is actually pretty low this month so imagine if our volume was higher imagine if it was something more like 35 quadrillion coins burned right and then you would just multiply that by the 30 days and then that would be one quadrillion that would be one quadrillion off of that 35 trillion every single day being burned it'd be one quadrillion for the whole month so i definitely want to see what happens like inside the near future because this is one of the things that's gonna actually help baby dogecoin out a lot the automatic burns this is one of the things that really sets us apart from a lot of other cryptos but uh anyways we do need to talk about this the daily task shout out to papaya fund 9073 on baby doge army reddit but yeah, you definitely need to come here and support Baby Doge. Like there's daily tasks on the Baby Doge Army Reddit. If you haven't joined, click that join button. I'm not logged in right now, so it doesn't show it, but I am logged in on my phone. But anyways, we gotta do we gotta do good stuff for Baby Doge. Always go on Coin Market Cap every day and search for Baby Doge. Do the same thing on Coin Gecko. Search for Baby Doge on Coin Gecko. Search for Baby Doge on Coin Market Cap. Do it every single day, and it will help Baby Doge out a lot. Hit up Certic and vote that for Baby Doge being secure. That will help us out a lot too. Also, vote every 24 hours on Coin Sniper so we can be at the top. Hit Dex Tools up and give it a green star for Baby Doge for the Binance Smart Chain one. And then over here, hit Dex Tools Ethereum and hit the green star. So yeah, there's a lot of different daily tasks that you can be doing here for Baby Doge. So seven, like on Whale Watcher in top right corner. Eight, keep us at number one. Nine, let's win all or number one for Watcher Guru, by the way. And then number nine, let's win all the votes or votes on Coin Mooner. So we pretty much have a lot of different voting systems that we can get a part of. The main one I want to talk about here though is Stock Twits. Stock Twits is big. So just go over there, watch a follow baby doge on Stock Twits. Stock Twits is huge. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. That would have definitely helped us out a lot. So, anyways, thank you, Ultra243, for compiling the list and keeping it up on a daily basis. Shout out to Ultra243. Ultra243 is always doing a lot of amazing stuff for the Baby Doge community. And shout out to Papaya Fun973 for putting this up here as well. But yeah, anyways, the petitions over here, we got the Binance petitions actually growing. If you go over here, you see Binance petition is actually almost pushing 10,000. So we almost got 10,000 votes there. We got the Coinbase one. And then we got the Kraken one. We got the Robinhood one, Wazer X, Tesla. So definitely go ahead and sign up for all these. All you got to do just go over to the Baby Doge Army Reddit. It just says Baby Doge Army in all caps. And then you can get straight to the here. And it's literally like the fourth or fifth uh, post here on, on the Reddit. So definitely check that out. And that will help us out a lot. Now, Infinity Wallet is supposed to be listing one of these coins. And Baby Doge was the top. They said, what meme coin should we list next on the Affinity Wallet? So it should obviously be Baby Doge since we won this. So Baby Doge should be getting listed on Affinity Wallet soon. Definitely keep on watching out for that. This is going to be very good for us. But um, yeah, anyways, this is all I got for you all today. I just wanted to go over all this stuff and let you know exactly what's going on with Baby Doge. So anyways, hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, if you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out the Vital Algo link in the description and use the discount code MARCELLUS for 25% off. And as always, I'll be back with another video. Peace.